All right, friends, UFC 308, it goes down this weekend, one of the most anticipated main events of the year. One of the most beloved fighters in UFC history, Max Holloway, the pride of Waianae, Hawaii, returning to action this Saturday on quite a roll, coming off that incredible knockout of Justin Gaethje back at UFC 300, fighting for a belt once again, a belt that a lot of people thought, including myself, that he would never fight for again because he lost three times to Alex Volkanovsky, then champion at 145. But here he is. He has earned it the hard way, winning fights at 45 and 55, and back in the title picture against the 15-0 Georgian slash Spaniard, Ilya Tapuria, who's on a rocket ship. He's coming off the incredible win over Volkanovsky back in February, knocking him out, exudes confidence, talks the talk, walks the walk. He is the favorite. He hits very hard. He's supremely impressive uh, as a mixed martial artist, a lot younger, less cage time, less damage. On and on it goes. But can you, can you, can you count out Max? At this point, do it at, at your own um, you know, at your own discretion, because Max is still that guy. Uh, I, I think Ilya is incredibly talented. I think he's incredibly tough. I think he hits really hard. I think he's very well-rounded. And I don't even think we've seen the best of Ilya Teporia. I don't think we've seen 50% of how good he is. So this, to me, feels like a 50-50 fight. Ilya's first title defense. Max has been here before. Where do they go from here? How does this all play out? I can't wait for this main event Saturday. I also can't wait for the co-main event and I'm going to give you a hot take. I don't usually make picks around these parts, but I am feeling an upset. I am feeling a Robert Whitaker upset. I, I think that Whitaker is on fire. I think he is switched on. I think he uh, is still one of the best middleweights in the world. He's coming off a very impressive win over Ikram Ali Skarov on short notice back in June. Uh, Hamzat isn't fighting enough these days. It's a five-round fight. Uh, Whitaker has gas tank for days cardio for days. Hamza doesn't. What happens when it goes into the fourth and fifth rounds? That's what I think is going to happen. What happens then? I think that favors Robert Whitaker. So it's going to be a really interesting fight, but I think it's one that's ultimately going to be won by the underdog, Robert Whitaker. That's what I'm feeling right now. It'd be a huge fight for him. And if Hamza wins, you know, everything that we said about him four years ago will start to come to fruition, I think. So can't wait for that fight. Also, Magomed Anka live against Alexander Rakic. The winner could very, very well be next for the light heavyweight title and the champion, of course, Alex Pera. What about Dan Ige against Larone Murphy? I love that fight as well. Rafael Dos Anjos against Jeff Neal on the prelims. UFC 308, place to be for all the action. BetMGM, first-time user, put in the name Helwani. We hook you up because that's what we do. Enjoy the fights, my friends.